What's up everyone? Welcome back to Sekiro. Welcome back to probably the final episode of Sekiro. Uh, if everything goes correctly, and there's a chance it won't, this might be the final episode. I mean, he died from his illness, but he still got the motherfucking sword out. Yep, we're going back to where it all started. One of the things I always found kind of weird is that... Oh, can you not do... Oh, I think that was... I think that was a new piece of dialogue. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think I actually did this the first time around. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, I genuinely don't know. Secret technique? I'm guessing you need to uh, do something. <laughs> I mean, of course. I think you need to get one of these, right? One of these like end, that's five, that's a lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of these. Maybe if I was a little bit more focused uh, with how I spend my skills, this could have been possible, but I didn't do it. Let's get this. Oh, well, listen, I ain't going to die uh, from sadness that I didn't get everything, but I don't know. One thing I definitely need to do is we are going to switch out to the Moron Draw. And the reason is, if I remember correctly, the Moron Draw is... I don't know what that is. Okay, it's after a backstab, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, as far as I remember, the Moron Blade is pretty useful during the final boss. In fact, very useful during the final boss, I'd say. Can you... Where the hell do we get out? Oh, well, I mean, unless then we can just teleport, can't we? Cool, let's just see if anybody has anything interesting to say. <clears throat> See, I didn't visit any of these NPCs uh, the first time around, but maybe it's it's worth it. Let's see who has what. I mean, we might as well clear out his pellets and shit. Like, most of his shit, actually. The sculptor. Oh, he's gone. Interesting. Because normally this is where he would already be sort of like transforming into the demon, right? The demon of hatred. Who's another like sort of super boss, but I ain't messing with that shit, that's for sure. That's like any video I've ever seen of uh, that boss it looked mad annoying. I think this is probably the closest one where we want to go. Okay, so I'm a to total idiot and I completely forgot that there is a window here. And this is where you need to escape from. Not even like, not escape, but you know. I 
Got my sword out. If I could lock on to the fool, that would be really helpful. I don't even see him. Eh, whatever. Oh, there he is. He's getting killed. Cool, yeah, whatever. So yeah, as I said at the beginning, uh, I said I'm hoping to finish this game. We'll see if that happens because, believe me, the final boss ain't a joke. I don't even know who I'm meant to be killing. <laughs> Everybody kind of looks the same. These are the Night Jar Ninjas. These are supposed to be like our our friends, but they're not. But it's true that like Genichiro has like his version of the Niger as well. Oh shit. What happens if you Whoa Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like legit didn't know that was a thing. And it actually very conveniently leads us to where we're supposed to be going. I mean, those fools are just getting torn up right there. No, don't stab. Hey, that's supposed to be our friend. Bro. Dick, move. Yeah, get torn up, bitch. Oh, of course, I killed his friend. I mean, he has a right to shoot me in the back. Or at least one to shoot me in the back. And we're like so strong now. I mean, really, that, like, one or two optional bosses that I did, that I didn't do in the first playthrough, that really does kind of make a difference. Oh, there's a fatso. Huh. That's pretty cool. I, like, never came this way, honestly. Well, okay, this might be an interesting final episode because I'm, like, getting distracted. Holy shit, I I didn't know there was another, like, sort of fat guy. I mean, I kind of knew, but... I knew that there were three of them, but it's kind of crazy. I mean, like, again, we're just, like, mad strong at this point. But he can probably still wipe us. What we're gonna try doing is not letting him reapply that shit. But, again, after Owl, like, I feel pretty invulnerable. I can't even talk. Ichimanji, that bitch. Oops. That's what I was kind of fearing. I was expecting this level of damage from the boy. Thought so. He's not easy. He's not easy. <clears throat> A 
what I'm gonna be doing is I'll be smarter against the Juzu clone and I'll try sneaking around uh, we'll pop a Gaijin sugar and we'll see if I can't like backstab him to at least take one of his uh, stocks one of his health stocks because he's kinda ridiculous look at that fool there in the grass Shit. Oh, come on. Seriously? What the fuck is... These guys are like, insanely strong. They like deal our levels of fuck. I really tried going for that. They they deal like our levels of posture damage. I swear to you. Well, that me sneaking around didn't work. But maybe I, I can still salvage this. I don't remember how bosses work, whether they lose interest after a while. Or whether they just keep not giving a fuck. I think they do lose interest, they gotta. Oh, and I gotta pop my last Gaijin Sugar. I don't even know why I'm doing this, like I'm right at the end. But there is like a part of me that wants to see something that I've not done. Uh, in the previous playthrough. So maybe we'll stretch it out to one more episode here. Because I feel like once I get a drop on this dude it should be pretty easy. Yes. Okay, maybe not pretty easy, but... Still don't like the gank aspect. Oh, that's a new... Here's some new tricks up his sleeve. Fuck, this is why I don't like the gank. Come on. We've handled tougher challenges before. I guess I haven't. Die, die, come on. Yes. Okay, heal, bitch. You know what? Should I use my Buddha? I, I think I, I use my Buddha. Motherfuck. Pretty close. Oh, 
No, no. <sighs> I'm just gonna go for the final boss. <laughs> Jesus, that's gonna like it's so difficult. You can, you don't necessarily need to go to New Game Plus, right? Straight away. I think you do have a chance to go back. I'm not sure. I don't remember. God. I just want, I'm gonna go in for the final boss. That pissed me off. Hopefully it didn't like drain my energy for the last encounter. I should be like mad strong now, that's the... That's the thing, and I felt like I was made into a little bitch there. And these guys like their fucking crazy ass acrobatics. These are cool enemies though. Okay, you two can have your fun down there. <clears throat> Actually, that's where we need to go. Am I losing my voice, seriously? I don't know why. Cool. This is the bonfire. Um... I think. No, there's one before. They, they're they kind enough to not screw you. Shit. I remember these two. It's a gang squad. Ornstein and Smo style. And it's mad annoying, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think I might have skipped these two assholes. Um, not 100% sure. Especially if they have a little buddy working for them. Eat shit, bitch! You too. I don't know if I needed to kill you. Yeah, there's a flashback from the start of the game, right? This guy. These guys are fucking annoying. Told you. Get your Mikiri counter practice in. Fuck. Yeah, and this is the dude you can't you can't like properly Mikiri because he like resists that shit. It still does posture damage, you just don't get a opportunity to hit him. Which is a little bit annoying. Oh, god damn. I swear to you, the final boss doesn't deal this much damage. Oh, that's a that's a slash. <sighs> Luckily, the thing is right there. Man, this is gonna be a crazy ass episode. I have so much to cut out.
Ain't even going for it. The crazy thing is I'm down to my last three Gaijin sugars, so... The boy's gonna be in trouble, honestly. And again, you can skip these three. I mean, these two. I mean, technically, there's three of them, but I don't wanna. Motherfuck that tracking. Come on. Significantly better. Um, it's going significantly better. I mean, this guy can be considered like a pretty much a one trick pony. That attack is insane. I swear to God. <sighs> I, I hate it. I hate this guy. <sighs> Come on. I got to this phase before, but... All it takes is one little mistake. Come on, he's dead. Fuck. Fuck this guy. All I got was a shitty prayer beat out of it. Unbelievable. Almost used all my Gaijin sugar as well. See, now the real conundrum here is... Uh, I have so much to cut out. Am I going the wrong... Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I have so much to cut out here, uh, but also quite a lot of stuff has happened. Oh no, no, we do need to go up there. I'm stupid. I completely forgot that there is no like place that leads to the other side there. I think. I might be completely dumb here, but I feel like this is the way we need to take. It just feels it, you know. Of course they give you a sculptor's idol before. They gotta. They got to. Here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna cock tease the final boss a little bit. Why not, right? Why not? The only way this can end now is if I kill the final boss in the first try. Which is, let's be honest with ourselves, very, very, very unlikely to happen. Given that my performance in this episode has not been the best, to be honest with you. Who else could it be? And he has another moron blade. Good for him. Oh, 
シナの命運は変わりませぬ狼よ竜院など誰の手にもあるべきではないのだ Hell yeah, except we're badasses now. I do like this though, that he goes from pretty much being like a depressed samurai to being a badass again. Like, look at him. He's all ready to go. This game is cool, you gotta admit. See, he can use... This guy must have spirit emblems out the ass. He can use the Moron Blade. As much as he wants to. Which is not the most fair, because for us, it's a resource. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. This is what he does. You need to get behind him. And welcome to the final boss of Sekiro. Don't worry, it's not gonna be Genichiro. Not that lame. Uh, he's the first part of a very, very, very long fight. And I'm giving you a hint here you can't fuck up on this part. As I did. Yeah, that was again. But like, I'm I'm playing shitty. I'm playing real shitty. Okay, that was a little bit of a. That wasn't even a cock tease. We didn't even like tickle the end. Uh, so we'll do that again. This is gonna be dragging out out the ass by the end of this. Let me tell you that. The only thing I can think of, if I manage to kill fucking owl. I can take care of this fool. See, he has all the shit. Uh, Mikiri is... Whatever. Jumps. All that good stuff. You're gonna get real good at fighting this part of the boss. Uh, let me tell you that. Because what does he do? What does this asshole do? Well, we're gonna find out after he talks. He gives his anime villain speech. He does a Sudoku, which is fair, fair enough. And out of him emerges, which is a little bit strange. Because how does this work? Nobody knows. I mean, kind of gross. It's Ishin. He summoned for jolly cooperation. Yep, shut up, phone. And this guy. This guy is a real motherfucker. He has everything. He has slashes. He has Mikiri. Uh, motherfucker attacks. 
everything you can think of. He has a fucking... Oh yeah, you gotta like run away from there. He has a motherfucking Uzi with him, uh, which we're gonna see very soon. If we get to his next phase. Sometimes you just gotta be a bitch and run. Believe me when I say, he is... This guy is by a mile the most difficult uh, Souls final boss. Like it's not even a competition. I don't know who the next hardest would be, probably uh, German, but this guy, he's something else. I think he busts out the Uzi right now. Uh, oh yeah, that's the thing. There it is! Told you! How is that fair? How is that fair? Because do I get an Uzi? I don't. I do remember that. And I do remember as well that he's weak to the Mortal Blade. Uh, which is cool. But that thing uses spirit emblems out the ass. And he just annihilated me. I don't even know what the hell that attack pattern was. Crazy attack. <laughs> yeah, he is, and it's not even his last phase. Actually, he gets, he, I would say he actually gets easier in his last phase. Uh, that's Ishin. That is Ishin, the final boss of Sekiro. <sighs> I feel like that was a good, good enough tease. Um, and this makes for a decent penultimate episode. Again, if I hadn't gotten distracted, with the other guy, I, I would have like managed this, but hey, I got distracted, what can I say? So, you're gonna have to hold off on the finale one more time. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Sekiro here. Thank you guys very much for watching, as always. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As usual, take care, and see you next time for the finale. Goodbye.